Well, that report there focusing on school security on the first day of school. And speaking of security, the return of police to school campuses fiercely debated, but officials say they're seeing definite results. Cleopatra Murphy has that angle. It was an increase in violent incidents on school campuses, notably the 2022 stabbing of an AF Adderley student that prompted the return of police officers on school campuses last September. This school year, another 27 officers, fresh from graduating a five-day school resource officer training course, will be joining students on the campuses of 15 junior and senior high schools here on New Providence and a total of 29 schools nationwide. The intent was to prevent a similar tragedy like the death of 15-year-old Cam Paul. Paul was killed during an altercation at Government High School in 2021, but officer in charge of the school policing program, Chief Superintendent Chaswell Hanna, says aside from curbing violence, school resource officers are forging bonds with students. These kids are looking up to these SROs as mentors. For some of them, they don't have a father figure in the home, uh, which we understand is important. So these kids look at these SROs as mentors, positive role models. So it's all about preventing. As I said earlier, you know, too many of the crime victims we see and the crime suspects are young people, teenagers, young teenagers. And um, if we could intervene and divert them, um, from the junior and senior high, in some cases, the primary school level, where we see those red flags, we can prevent and divert them from getting into a life of crime. And this is why school policing program is so important to um, reducing crime. The relaunch program started on nine New Providence schools with 30 officers, now has just under 60 at schools on Grand Bahama, Abaco, Andros, Eleuthera, and Exuma. Hannah says school safety has improved overall due to the partnership with the school community that includes leadership, but also due to initiatives implemented. Put in place the school busing system where students um, who catch bus after school, they could be picked up right off the school campus to avoid the opportunity um, to get themselves into these fights after school. Um, the SROs are in those classrooms preventing incidents before they happen. If they get word of, of something during a fight, it's going to happen after school, they intervene. And prevent. As for the future of school policing, the next step may just be a move into primary schools. Even if it's, it's something to the extent where we have uh, SR responsible for several primary schools because um, we know resources is something that we have to pay attention to. But we're going to make sure that um, all of the schools are covered in some way by a school resource officer to have positive engagement and interaction with these students. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm Cleopatra Murphy.